car handles very, very well. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, yeah. yeah. Welcome to the church, volume two. Exclusive 213. <laughs> Got my nephew Nate Dog in the house. Nate Dog, holla at him, where you at? Riding in my car. And I'm listening to the radio. I'm listening to a sad girl sing. Sang about how she got her car broke. I just want me something natural When you're alone it gets mighty cold Don't act as if you did not know She let me play with her part I'm working late, I said I'll soon be home All the while the girl was on her phone Let me tell you what she crying for Why? Cause I'm fly Hey, super fly Nate, go oh, oh, oh. I'm fly, yeah. yeah, you know he's super fly, but me, I'm super duper, and I'm super duper fly. fly. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight, we're going for a POV drive in a 460 horsepower Audi R3. You probably just see the comparison where we put it up against a Stage 2 Tune Down 140. I thought, let me switch it up. Let's get back to these night POV drives. I used to enjoy them. I'm sure you lot used to enjoy them as well. So obviously, we're going to go over the spec. Then I'm just going to go for a little waffle. Kick back, enjoy Ricky's point of view. Let's go, champ. It's the low, and I ain't afraid to shoot, and I love the two two beat beat as I slide up the street. I'm from the LBC, and I don't know what y'all ain't heard about. Right, so I'm not gonna lie, we've got some funny, funny business going in the front. Start her up, so yeah. Oh, there you go, ghost straight away. You never actually seen a ghost on an Audi. Oh, bro, let me tell you, ghosts are annoying, but you need one in it. You have to have one on your car, lads. Right, lights on. Let's go. So, Audi RS3, one of my favorite cars, 2015 model. Finished in glacier white. 60k on the clock. Full service history. This one is up on the website right now. Someone will be winning it this Sunday, 10.30 for 199. And um, I suppose it's a less talking. Yeah, boy. So it's the pre-facelift with the iron block. And I'm sure these pre-facelifts sound a lot better than the new OPF facelift. Oh, pure traction, lads. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. So yeah, I'm not sure on the GoPro settings. Obviously, nighttime can be a little bit difficult. I've got to do it load, do like loads of editing and shit, like putting all these effects to try and get the noise out. But I've up the ISO. Sorry, I'm talking a bit geeky for non-camera people watching, but have a look at the cabin, lads. Audis do it different when it comes to the cabins. I mean, look, this is a 2015. It's seven years old, but come on, it's still very very nice in there look at these like red lights it's got these illuminated lights in the cup holders along the speakers it just looks so lit in it it just feels very modern doesn't feel like it's aged one bit of course you know it's getting on a bit now gear shifts are really smooth so this car is running stage 2 gearbox software by MRC Tuning Scotland. It's also tuned by MRC Scotland uh, ECU wise, running 460 brake horsepower. This car is a bit of a weapon. 360 horsepower from a factory, 2.5 litre, turbocharged, five cylinder engine. Right, let's go flat second gear. <laughs> yeah, it literally basically plowed then. the iron block they are pretty reliable i think even stage 3 hybrid turbo uh, versions of these cars you're looking at maximum 550 to 600 horsepower you could probably run more but i'm talking about reliably whereas the facelift dazza uh, like a 2017 plus they can do 7 750 horsepower which you've seen many of them on the internet bro this car handles very very well i don't know what the waffle is online 
pure waffle about oh this one's not as bro it just feels honestly it still feels very nice brakes are nice steering is very very light man it looks nice being lowered but i i, I would i wouldn't do it I, I would raise it a bit upgraded intercooler it's got ngk spark plugs it's got miltech downpipe apparently the previous owner spent over ten thousand pounds modifying this car so that is what was up on the advert we bought it from a trader in huddersfield the condition yeah so as i put my foot down it did feel like it went a little bit wide uh, so yeah, she's lowered, spaced, apparently it's had a geo set up because it does turn really, really nice. Steering rack's nice and quick. Of course, we've got the S-Tronic six-speed dual clutch transmission. As I say, stays too tuned. Up the clamping pressure, it's got faster shifts. You can slide it to left if you want to sort of manually use it. Don't know why Audi do it the wrong way around. You flick down to go down. Have a list of fucking five cylinder lads. Brakes are really good, man. Very, very sensitive. But it's a nice power, man. It's nothing over the top. You're not compromising the engine reliability. You know, a stage two tune is very safe to do to a car. There's a lot of people that obviously have financed cars, so you don't want to go too crazy with tuning you know but stage two wouldn't worry about your engine letting go of stage two as long as it's by a reputable company mrc tuning we've got an upgraded intercooler so we're not getting any heat so it's not zapping any power the temps are nice and cool Nice, we've got a Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tyres. We do also have two and a half grand's worth of brakes. We've got two piece floating discs. And I suspect it would have had braided lines, brake fluid. Not sure on the calipers, but obviously we know RS3 calipers are huge from factory anyway. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, we've got all wheel drive, the Holdex, Quattro system from factory, these cars. The way they put down power, lads, ridiculous, man. It's like, man, it's cheating out here. It's got a full Maxton body kit. So we're talking front splitter, side blades. We've got the rear diffuser. We have uh, an extension on the wing. It just looks really smart, man. It's not anything over the top. It's a nice, clean build, man. Previous owner definitely knew what he was doing with his car, man. And as uh, Sid said in the comparison video, you know, anyone that's got an RS3, first thing you should do is definitely look into like a Geo setup, man. noticing like the thing is because i'm thinking about filming i'm thinking about reviewing the car talking i'm not able to get into a real deep concentration so the times i do fade away or sort of lose my concentration a bit i notice i'm a bit all over the road say take a link in the description i'm definitely back to making content i'm gonna get back on these reaction videos as well but um yeah if you've enjoyed today's video you'll see more nighttime pov drives 
definitely smash the thumbs up throw down a comment yeah i've got some cool cars coming this week got a b7r as for state i also got an evolution 8 coming uh, fq340 so yeah man if you want to see pov drives on those cars comparisons let me know man but yeah i'm out people till next time Hotel that's five stars yeah. Make the roof disappear